alaikum precious people. Welcome or welcome back to my video. My name is Zafira. I am currently a graduate student at Harvard Graduate School of Education studying learning design, innovation, and technology. In this video, I thought I could take you guys with me on a chill weekend at home where I just write my two midterm essays that I need to submit next week. The first one that I need to do is a paper for strategic finance and the other one is for ensuring education innovation succeed. It is a bit of a crunch to be doing my essays on Saturday and Sunday knowing that I will need to submit them by Monday and Tuesday but I do have a good reason. It just has been a really hectic week. If you follow me on Instagram, which is somewhere on the screen, you'll find that my day tends to get really, really busy all the way until the evening. And I am the type of person who, once I get home, I do not want to do my work anymore as much as possible with the assumption that I have done as much as I could on campus on that day. So. This weekend, I'm going to be dedicating my time specifically for my exams, which I have done the research for and I know exactly what I want to write. So today, Saturday, I will be doing the essay that I need to submit by Monday, which is a strategic financial analysis or recommendation based on a case study that I already read yesterday. And then once I'm done with that, hopefully tomorrow I can start working on my essay for ensuring education innovation succeed which i also already know what i want to write and it's not too long it's only maybe two pages maximum and it's really just the class way of trying to help us get our ideas on a paper for us to later develop for the finals so without further ado i am going to start studying and i'm very happy to show you that my caffeine choice of the day is this matcha latte
not really had any time to do a dialogue yesterday because I was spending my time on doing my midterm paper which I did submit as I've shown you I'm guilty about this but I also spent the rest of my evening seeing how people reacted to the finale of House of the Dragons and there was a lot of mixed feelings about a lot of characters and that was really entertaining but also a rabbit hole that I just cannot seem to get myself out of and I was also spending last night reading all the way until 4 a.m. not anything academic or journal or anything like that it was just like a pure entertainment reading and I'm the type that doesn't stop until I'm actually falling asleep on what I'm reading and I wasn't falling asleep because it was so good and I had to force myself to go to sleep and then I was already on campus at 9 it's not the healthiest that's why I got coffee this morning and I don't usually do that but today I'm on campus I will be spending I think most of my time or all day actually just doing my midterm that I need to submit for tomorrow that I haven't started but I do know what I want to write and I feel like when you know what your argument is going to be like researching and actually writing it down is not going to be as challenging compared to when you're really starting from scratch so now I will be taking you to the silent space or the quiet library as I like to call it and I think I will be there all throughout the afternoon until I have to eat lunch and I do technically have a class at 1 p.m. but I got an email that it's just going to be a Halloween event slash party which I don't have as much interest in so I might just stay at the quiet space and do my essay so let's go your camera hold on let me film you <laughs> no i want it to be i don't it trust your shaky time. head melika and i sharing a moment eating donuts <laughs> you just ruined the angle have i what happened yesterday so yesterday i was disturbed at the library but by this person who was such a paparazzi he was taking <laughs> Like, I'm not 
Um, last year they didn't do it because of COVID, but it's like to welcome all the students and networking opportunities. So everybody dresses up, looks nice. Done? I think you should go, man.